I've been meaning to get out there for ages, but then my legs started acting up again. Nice to have the help. Turn toward the river. Just a little further up there. Thank you. I, I, I okay. It's the camera. Am I? Oh, I missed it. What? Am I blind? Where is this camera? To my left. The one turned towards the river. I'm blind as a bat. I, I don't see this camera. What? Wow! It was hidden in plain sight. My God. <laughs> they actually do work. Cheers. That should keep it going for another few years. Can you check the other cameras while you're here? Might give you some stalking suggestions, if nothing else. That way. Now that I know what I'm looking for, for some stupid reason, I thought it would be green. I... Wait, what? Am I on a track? Is that what happened in here? Ooh, 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 wait a second. I spooked out a monstrous red deer. 529 pounds. That's a big one. Oh, he spooked. Wait a second. Oh, he spooked. And that is why I don't like using the ATV. I would have walked up on a monster red deer. Son of a biscuit. Not gonna lie, I'm aggravated. That that aggravates me. That's like the one thing I've been looking forward to from this map is a big red deer over here. Okay. Now when something shows up on these nine times out of ten, it's a stray deer. Hey, hey, hey. That's cool. Is that what showed up over here? I don't think so. That rack's a little small. It's a great rendering, though. I believe 529 pounds guarantees he's got to be a seven. Oh, I actually saw it this time. Between these little fellas and that props list, Christmas has come early this year. Turkey, cool. Oh, and back up by the road. Okay, to my left. Oh, not this tree. Got to be one of these trees. I, I'm confused. Where, where is this next camera? Oh, down here. Okay. There's our missing props. But who? I, I don't honestly mind someone getting some use out of them as long as we're not deemed responsible. But that's a big bloody truck. There's no driving of anything larger than an ATV permitted in the reserve. Oh. Don't see any tracks, do you? Must have been a few days ago at the earliest. But uh, license plate's pretty clear, at least. <laughs> I'll do some detective work and let you know. I don't suppose you packed any swing togs, eh? Well, not to worry. Getting to our next destination involves a bit of spelunking. But a flashlight and some waterproof boots should be all you need. Head to the cave I've marked on your hunter, mate. There's a cave. Unless you'd rather climb over those mountains. No? Didn't think so. Morning call. Oh, right down here. I, I could not see that guy. I want to get the missions done, but I want this big red deer. Here, Staggy, Staggy, Staggy. Hi. He's right there somewhere. I don't see him. He does not want to come down. So he, he is above this little ridge here. Can he not get down that? He's vocal. He's responsive. These are all good signs. Wait, is that the same one? Okay, I don't think that's him. No, that can't be him because he's not, he doesn't look like he would be a max weight. No, see, he's a 462 six hard. That's not him. Yes, you're big and boy, aren't you? He's right in front of me and I don't see him. See, I think he's up and having trouble. Oh, there he is. Wait, that's a 462.5 medium. That's still not him. Okay, was that him calling or is there a third? 
I think I'm getting better at the Red Deer heart shots. Throwing that out there. Was that it? Oh, so the big guy's still gone. Oh, that's the wrong one. All right. Pick these two up. And if I don't hear anything, I'll move on. But neither of these are the one I picked the track up for. So the one I picked the track up for is a 529 peak. These were both 462s. So you get to be kept because you're the first red deer on the thing. Uh, you look cool. I'll give you that. <laughs> Heart shot left lung. Nailed it. 1500 cash. Just the little 133. 162. So at least he does appear to be the bigger of the two. Is the other one smaller? Like 155? I think that's what it said. 1502 cash. Heart left lung. Yeah, I got that one down. They were both top of that weight class, uh, 446, keeping you. So if six heart is hitting top of that weight class, that means 529 is going to be seven and up. Oh boy. The question is, where's my big one? Follow the river west and you'll eventually wind up at the cave mouth. Ah, wow. Wow. Anything up there? Probably not that I can see. Wow, I always love caves in this game. Dang, this is a big one too. Holy heck. The water's low right now, but it can still catch you by surprise. Stick to the walls and get that flashlight on. Easy does it. Do I really need the flashlight on? I don't think so. It's like you're walking down the, the throat of a ginormous whale. That's a thing, right? So this is where you have an A to B ATV race. Now that they don't catch fire for touching water anymore. That used to be a thing. Didn't it say I had to do something? Inspect the cave art. I'm guessing that's at the other end. What is that? Hang on a ticket. I found the rum. The rum was not gone, just misplaced. Is that what I think it is? I'm not sure if I should be horrified or impressed. Don't bother picking it up. I'll send someone with the proper equipment over later on. I, I can't take the sword? Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're doing a thing here. Um, wait, so which one do I want? I think, uh, let's start with the right. And I'm actually going to start running, because if I'm wrong, i got to come all the way back. I'm very certain I'm wrong, but I want to see if this comes out. If that little light up is because it's just a cave opening, or because, uh, there's an outpost there. Because I'm definitely going to need to be working my way to an outpost soon. And I think the next one's over here. Is there another split? Wait. I know you're almost out. But indulge me for a minute. Take a look on your right. A little further ahead. Wait. Oh, you wanted me to go this way? I think I'm supposed to be on the other side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I made a wrong turn. Oh, here. This is why I live here. Go ahead. Get as close as you want. Just don't touch it. See the cracks in the surface? It's limestone, notoriously unstable. These cave paintings aren't going to be here forever, but I've made it my mission to ensure that we do everything we can to keep them around for as long as possible. Kids like Josh need to learn their history, right? It's part of what it means to be human, knowing you come from something else, someone else. We call it whakapapa. It means genealogy, but also to place in layers. And those layers link us all. Everything ends up in the ground. Bird, or human, or rock, or deer. Anyway, that's enough philosophizing from me. Let's get you out of here. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to take a left. Wait, now I want to know, where does that other frickin' tunnel go? Unfortunately, I keep getting stuck hunting. I don't know why I do that. You know, what? what, what is this, a hunting game? So I've only gotten six missions done. <laughs> a mission an hour. I, I gotta up it a little faster than that, otherwise I'm gonna be... Well, here for 15 to 20 hours? I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. Yeah, very slow. I keep getting distracted like this. Uh, oh, oh, well... I guess I can't go left. Oh, if I looked, I'd have seen that. <laughs> but where does it go? Because hang on a second. Wait, so is that really... Where does it go? Oh, I hate that. That would be me, though, to go into a cave underground and just run off the edge into the water. All right, follow instructions, back out this way. I need to find an outpost. I'm running out of daylight. Wait a second. This isn't out? I thought this was out. When do I get out? Okay. I think I finally found the entrance. Oh, the big forest. I'm sure you've never been so happy to lay your eyes on the wonderful Kiwi weather. Stretch those legs. Nothing like wandering through a damp, cramped cave to give you a new lust for life. Right. 
I hope you're not too worn out now. More filming's on the table, but first, can I trouble you to take a little detour? What do you mean, can you trouble me? That's all I've been doing is detours. Let me explain. The beech trees here form one of the finest examples of native forest in all of New Zealand. In no small part due to the efforts of our resident conservationist, Marama. We just had a mast year when they seed like crazy. And this means plenty of food for mice and rats, which in turn means plenty of food for other small pests. Beginning to see the problem? When the rats run out, those small mammals prey on native bird species, the pesky critters. We've used aerial 1080 poisoning to stave off the worst of them. But to slow their reintroduction, we need to get our hands dirty and lay down a few traps ourselves. It's time-sensitive work, and unfortunately, Madam is feeling a bit crook and had to stay home today. Can you take over for her? She's left them in a box near the target site. Conservation here is a constant tit for tat against these invasive mammal species. Our only indigenous mammals are three types of bats and some marine species. Everything else is a pest to a lesser or greater extent. Sometimes our methods can seem extreme. 1080 poisoning isn't without its naysayers, but it's one of the only tools we have to help protect the uniqueness of this place. Now, hunting helps too. I don't want to go back to the days of the helicopter wars, but having recreational hunters here year-round would go a very long way. Uh, that chamois, when I heard it, I... Yeah, that. Oh, I cannot see into there. That sounds like a damn puma. Where are you? Where? I, I don't see this thing. I cannot see into here. Did it flee? Um, so what am I supposed to be doing? Heading around the lake to the other side. Uh, you know what? Oh my god, look. Oh, wow, I haven't looked up yet. Look how tall it is. Oh, it makes me dizzy doing that. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Oh, it's, and it's, you know what? It's beginning to be nightfall. Uh, is there an outpost there? If not there, there's one there. Yeah, I'm guessing the chamois ran out. I, I could not see into there. This, oh, it's going to be so epic to just sit there and stalk something with the bow in here. It is beautiful. It has been a minute since I have hopped on a Call of the Wild map, one of their new maps, and been like, you know, it, you know, their maps look good. All their maps look good, but this is like, this is level 11 here. It is fantastic. Uh, I am so lost. This way. Ho, oh. ho, ho. And there's the Apex engine, abusing God rays. It sounds like a puma farting. I really don't know how to describe it. Like, if, if I made that sound, I would go take uh, uh, an antacid. But it's, it's, it's weird. It's like, it's not loud, but it's powerful. I don't see it. See, of course, I, you know, the other thing, how tall is this brush right here? I could be looking over its head for all I know. All right. We're con we're that is so weird. Is that the sound they make? See, this is this is why I'm excited. You know, the Rocky Mountain map was cool. I'm from Colorado. I don't live there anymore. But this is an animal that I've never heard or seen in real life. It's crossing. Wait, 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 wait. Think this through, you numbnuts. You came in from over there. You heard it. Then it went silent. Now you're hearing it come. It's crossing behind me. They did a great job with the uh, sound engineering. Fantastic. I feel like I'm in a jungle. I mean, really, my arse is just going to sleep in an office chair, but I feel like I'm in a jungle. This might be probably, like, the worst spot to do it. There's probably a, a hillside or somewhere I could go. I have some daylight left. Not a lot. Or, oh, boy. That one has the blue symbol on it. Blue symbol means trophy. I cannot see this bugger. Oh, my lord. That's not good. The sun's going behind that hill. Oh, and there's a divot over here. I hear, I hear footsteps right in front of me somewhere. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. There they are. Wow, they were actually a ways out. Okay, I see him. I don't see how I'm going to get a shot, but I see him. Uh, is that him right there? I hit a freaking tree, or I shot over him. I could barely see him, but I was... Okay, we're not scared. We are not scared right there. Ooh. Wait. I'll split the difference. That one nailed him. 
Split the difference, and I believe he just went down. No. Okay. No, he's down. Because there he... Okay. Well, he's down, but apparently they make a warning call that sounds like someone opening the window on the bus while you're doing 90 miles an hour. I'm running out of light. I gotta hurry up. There's my arrow stuck to nothing but tree. Got him. Ooh. Yep, and he's down. All right. Enough of that. Got us two chamois. I am happy with that. Uh, this is the arrow that missed. Wow, for medium bleed rate, he took off for a bit. And they're already coming back. Wait, I see the arrow. All right. The benefits of a tracer arrow. Oh, I screwed that one up. 4630, just a gold. Like, right at gold. You know what? You're coming back. Same with the other one. Because technically the other one I got first. Oh, down here. Oh my lord, they're all over the place out here. Oh yeah, trying to hunt them down in that forest is stupid. Why was I doing that? Here you are. And I screwed that one up too. And a 4630, exactly a gold, but this one's a dark brown. You know what? You're both going in. I'm running myself out of money, but that's okay. All right, I need to get to where I'm supposed to be going. Um, I have tracks turned off. I have the feeling I'm doing something wrong. I wasn't listening. I was not paying a lick of attention because we came across the chamois. Okay, it has been six hours. I have completed seven missions. 